We've been talking about it for months, getting worse, shipping delays caused by COVID hitting the garden aisle now, leaving some businesses without the items they need to operate. Chrissy Tomashiro has a story that's new at 9. No hairspray, fishing poles, and no burgers. These are just some of the issues garden aisle businesses are dealing with due to a recent barge shipment delay. Young Brothers reports that some of its crew was exposed to COVID and they had to postpone their shipment to Nawili Wili Harbor last week. Hair Razor Salon in Lehue relies on the barge for their chemical hair products. The delays have forced them to think outside of the box. You know, that's where science comes to play. You see us, our smoke coming out of the air, we're trying to figure out, oh my God, how can I get this level one black hair to be a platinum blonde with what I have? So it's just, it's, it's just more math than I would like. When Hanapa'a Fishing Co's fishing poles didn't arrive, they had to turn some customers away. We had some customers that uh, were expecting some stuff in, and we just had to tell them, oh, you know what, um, we didn't get our shipment in, so um, they had to just come back another time, which was unfortunate. And it's not just retail businesses feeling the impacts. Burger King had no burgers. Jack in a Box closed early because they didn't have, they had a big sign saying, we don't have this except this is what we have. You know, and then there's um, Daylight Donuts. You know, they don't have flour. Young Brothers operated a recovery sale to Nawili Wili Harbor over the weekend, allowing businesses to pick up their delayed orders. All islands rely heavily on shipping by sea, and with rising COVID cases, the possibility of more delayed deliveries is causing concern. Making sure food uh, necessities are there, uh, We've taken to the part of actually flying in some of the, some of our produce, uh, more so milk, you know, the kids here, um, the school uh, meals, you know, those are going to be key issues. Decoy says another option is having those much needed items flown in instead. For now, businesses thank their customers for understanding as they continue to navigate through the pandemic. I just try to, um, you know, do the best we can. And um, I just tell my our customers, especially, you know, um, people who are experiencing everything, you know, um, statewide. So um, they understand for the most part, and I understand. So it's really, there's no pointing fingers. Young Brothers tells me there's no delays in shipping schedules this week. Chrissy Tomashiro, KH12 News, working for Hawaii.